Hey everyone, so we are officially in the first week of August, and I know that makes me teensy bit late, but you know what, we're going to count it anyway. It's time for July favorites. I have been shopping like a maniac this month, so there is a ton of stuff I've been trying out. Um, I don't have a ton of favorites this month though because there's still some stuff I haven't tried out enough yet to know if I'm in love with it. So um, I have mostly beauty favorites, one, two, no just, yeah, two non-beauty related favorites I think, but we'll go through them and we'll see. First up is one of my very favorites, it is a new planner. I know a lot of people tend to buy planners um, in January, like December, January. I don't like traditional planners. Traditional um, office planners, or even the ones that they go, oh, this is a mom planner. I can't stand those type of planners because they're either organized by hour, which doesn't work for me, or they have itty bitty teensy writing spaces. I don't know who it is who actually needs a planner who has so little to do that they only need the teensy tiny writing spaces, but good for them, whatever. Um, I have tried using um, online planners. Honestly, they bug the crap out of me. They take too long, and I am a fast, fast typer. To me, they're just extraneous and cumbersome, and I can't see... Say I write something down on the planner online, I can't see everything. I only see, like, the first four words. Well, that doesn't help me. That doesn't help me at all. So, anyway... I got this planner. It's from a company called Blue Sky, and I found this at Target. I buy student planners. I buy the ones that come out in July, August for high school and college kids because they're awesome. Okay, so this is a planner I got. It's gorgeous. This is actually a pocket, so I can slip anything down into this. Photos, notes, receipts, anything I need to down in this. It has tabs. I'm not going to show you my current month's planner or even the next month's planner. I'm going to flip all the way to January because I don't want you guys getting a sneak peek right now. But um, it goes from July to June. And I do have a month view. You get a month view for every month. But then every single week, massive amounts of writing space. This is huge for me. I can write what I'm vlogging, what I'm writing on the blog, um, what I need to teach my daughter that day, what I'm cooking for dinner, if I have any photo shoots I need to do, things like that. Everything can go in these spaces and they have smaller but still decent sized spaces for the weekend. So this is what I need. I don't need a planner. It's got a leather binder and teensy tiny rank spaces to make myself look cool. No, I need one that works and it's cute. So that makes me happy. But um, yeah, I am loving my planner. I'm using the crap out of it and it fits in my purse. This is the same size as my to-do notebook. Yes, I have to have a planner and a to-do notebook. And I pop both of them together and slide them in my purse and I'm happy. So, that is my first favorite for the month because school planners are awesome. Next up is Impress Nails. I am loving these things for super duper quick manicures. These suckers stay on. They're awesome. I'm going to be doing a, I don't have them on right now, but I'm going to be doing a review of these sometime next week, I believe, because they're awesome and I love them and yeah. I need to tell you guys how much more I love them, so. Next up is I have been searching for the perfect eye drop. You guys have probably seen me show like five different types of eye drops on here. I thought, oh no, there's no way that problems I'm having with my eyes could be allergies because even though I have eye allergy problems, I take an allergy medication every day. Wrong. Oral allergy meds only, apparently, only touch the tip of the surface for me because this past week I've had to go and buy Nasacort, which I started using. It's a nasal steroid to keep my sneezing under control. And Visine A. This fixed the issue I've been having with 
my wonky eye. It fixed it like miraculous. My eye still doesn't like having a contact in it for a long period of time. Um, by the way, this is the only one I found an allergy one that has an antihistamine in it. All the other ones I found have astringents in them instead of antihistamines. So make sure it says antihistamine if you need something for your allergies. Next up, I told you guys you'd either see this in a favorites or a not favorites, and that's the EOS hand lotion. Favorite, definite, definite favorite. It absorbs quickly, it's not greasy, and it smells amazing. Plus, I love how just soft and modular the this thing is. It just it fits in my makeup bag perfectly, so happy with that. Love it. Um, another EOS product I told you was either going to be a love it or a hate it, and this is the EOS Shave Cream. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. This is... I may have put this in the last one's favorites, or a haul. I think it was a haul. If this was in last month's favorites, it's in here again, because it's that awesome. This is like best flipping shave cream ever. 100% wins, hands down. Bye bye skin to me. This is awesome. Up next, I've not done a review on this yet. It is coming probably by the end of this week. We'll see. Um, that is the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation, the Illumination version in light. In love with it. I It's what's on my face right now. It's what I've been wearing for the past like two, three weeks. This stuff is the best powder foundation I've ever used. And yeah, it's amazing. I'm going to tell you guys more about this and how I apply it in the review I'm doing. Alright, I have three more favorites to show you guys. My Revlon Color Stay. This is the Moisture Stain and this is the shade LA Exclusive. I'm not wearing it now. Right now on my lips I have um, NYX Cherry Pie. But um, this is one of my very favorite shades, this uh, LA Exclusive. This is amazing. It's creamy. It's pretty. It's one of those your lips but better pinks. Um, it looks super, super bright in the packaging, but I'm going to swatch it for you guys real quick. It looks crazy bright, but um, once it's on your lips, it actually shears out just into this nice creamy pink shade and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm in love with it. It's my new always in my bag shade and you guys know I have a couple of those that I tend to switch between that um, live permanently in my purse and if I do a video with it I actually have to go and get it out of my purse because this is what I want on my lips all the time. Oh, up next, um, I just did a review on this eye pencil and I loved it so much I had to go and buy another one and I'm probably going to end up buying like three or four more. It's the L'Oreal Silk Seam Eyeliner. Um, the one I originally did the review on was the black and I also went and picked up the plum. So I'm going to show you swatches real quick. Here's the black. Yeah, it goes on that smooth. Seriously, check out the review. This stuff is amazing. And here is the plum, which is almost a indigo color. It's right in between a purple and a royal navy blue. Like, it's not a true plum shade. It looks like it on camera, but it's not a true, true plum shade. It definitely has a lot more blue in it. It's gorgeous. Like, just stunning gorgeous. But yeah, these are my new number one pencil eyeliners in love. Absolutely in love with them. My last favorite for this month is these sandals. I love these sandals. They're soft and they are squishy and they're silver and this is so, so soft. I can wear these literally all day and like I get no blisters at all because it's this really comfy fabric and what I love is they're slightly high heeled so they're dressy enough 
Like I can wear these with jeans and I can also wear them with the dress to church and they look amazing. These are by the company Italian Shoemakers. The only places I've ever seen this company at is like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Burlington Coat Factory. I literally have not seen them in a standard store. I've never seen them in Target, Walmart, um, Payless, DSW, um, Famous Footwear. I've never seen them there. I only see them in, in places like TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but they're amazing. I have another pair of sandals from them, um, brown sandals that I have had for like three years and they're just finally starting to wear out with like constant wear. So yeah, I love this brand and I love their sandals. They're very, very cute. They make sandals that have that special line that you can dress them up or down, which is hard to do with a lot of sandals. So yeah, this is my last favorite because I'm in love with them and they're super comfy, which is a requirement in my world, as you guys know. I hope you guys enjoyed this July favorites video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or just want to say hi, go ahead and do so in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. You can also keep up with me on JoannaBrooks.net and on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. I'm pretty much everywhere, and all the links for that are down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye.